Hi and welcome to this video. Now in this video we would learn how to build a stock portfolio tracker on Excel. You will be able to get the live stock data on Excel and after you're done watching this video just one simple click will give you an updated report on your portfolio. Now this is for Microsoft 365 users only. It won't work on Excel 2016 or Excel 2019. It would only work for Microsoft 365 users. So let's get started and learn how to do this. Now let's suppose you have a couple of stocks in your portfolio. Let's say you have Reliance. Now if you want to know some information about Reliance and want to know what the price is, what is the open, high, low close is, all of that you can get on Excel. So for that, all you need to do is you need to go on to data and click on stocks. And it'll give you some information. I want Reliance Indust Industries National Stock Exchange. So I'll select this. And now it will pull out some information for me. So all I need to do is click on this little icon that's there and it'll tell me about the company, the price that it's trading at. It'll tell me about the percentage change, open, high, low, close, 52 week, high and low. It'll also give me some information about the company. Where is the headquarters? Uh, where is the how, how many number of employees are there what, which industry it belongs to all of that information you'll get right now if you also wanted to have some information here like price percentage change and all of that you can even do that so let's see how it looks like now in order to do that let's say i wanted the last traded price the current price i can even get that so let me show you how it's done so all i need to do is select it and on the right hand side you'll have this icon just click here and select price and you'll have the uh, latest price here. So let's say you had other companies as well. You had, let's say Infosys, you had HDFC Bank. Now if you know the symbol, you can simply type in the symbol or you can type in the company's name and you'll get the information. Let's say I also had Bajaj Finance. And I also had ICICI, right? Now I select this, go on to data and click on stocks and I'll get the information, right? So now I'm able to pull out the information for ICICI. So what I'll do is I cl click on this uh, question mark. It's not able to do so. So what I'll do is now I'll type in the full name. I'll type in the symbol, which is ICICI bank, or I can type ICICI space bank and press enter. Now it's looking for that information. So it's there on national New York stock exchange. It's I want national stock exchange. I'll select this one. So I have this information. Now, if I wanted the last traded price, so what I'll do is I'll simply select this, go here and click on price and it'll list down the price for me. Now, let's say I also wanted percentage change. I wanted, uh, let's say open high low i wanted 52 week high wanted 52 week low so i can get this information here how so i simply select the companies that i hold go on to this little icon and start selecting what i need i need percentage change so it'll list down that for me i also need the open price i select open here high and low I want 52 week high and low. So I have this information. It's a dynamic uh, information and it, it will keep updating. Uh, all you gotta do is go on to data and click on refresh all and you'll see the numbers getting changed here. So I click on refresh all and it'll update that for me. Now, let me put a table here. Let me just sort this out. Insert a table here. Let's say I wanted a different, uh, yeah, this one. Okay. Now, if I also wanted percentage change, maybe an arrow uh, telling me whether it's going up or down, what I can do is I, I can simply select this, go on to home and go on to conditional formatting, icon sets. I select this one. If it's going up, it'll have a green symbol. 
if it's sideways it'll have you know a sideways symbol and you can you can even change the the format so if it's above if it's around 1.5 it's going up if it's around about one percent it's kind of a sideways if it's going down it'll have this symbol now let's say if i have a portfolio and i wanted to know what is the current status of my portfolio what i can do is i can even do that on excel so i have let's say number of shares that i have right now let's say i had 100 shares of this 150 shares for this 100 shares of this company 50 for this another 100 for this another 150 for this right now what i can do is so this is the current uh, you know number of shares that i hold and what is the average price that i bought it at now i i need to put in the number or the the price at which i bought the shares in this example what we'll do is we would simply take the average just for the uh, example say average of the high and low 52 week high and low i'll take the average for this and now it'll, it'll list down so let's say this is my buying price now i wanted to know the value of my current portfolio what is the value of the current portfolio and what is my pnl i also wanted to find this out so I, all i gotta do is this is my current portfolio and this would be the current price into the number of shares there you go okay let me just correct this so this would be the average price into the number of shares okay i'll, I'll just close it yes so i need to put a bracket here and now it will list down the current value of my portfolio and i uh, can also calculate my profit and loss so my this is my buy price this is this would be my sell price if i want to sell this so sell minus buy would give me my profit into the number of shares that i hold number of shares is here so there you go so now i can i can have a total here this is the total value of my portfolio the current value and what is the profit that i'm looking at i can simply paste it the, the formula and this is the profit that i'm making on this portfolio now let's say in future i want to add some more stocks here let's say i wanted to add kotak bank so what all i gotta do is just just type in the name kotak bank and it'll autofill all the information all i need to do is i need to fill in my average price it's just taking the average of high and low for now i can put in the price at which i bought and i'll put the number of shares let's say i bought 50 shares now i'll list down the you know the profit or loss that i'm making and it will keep updating this now you want to update this all you gotta do is go on to a data click on refresh all and it'll give you the updated price. So this is what you can do in order to manage your portfolio, in order to update uh, the portfolio that you hold, and it'll give you a bird's eye view of what your portfolio has been doing. So I hope you would follow this, and this would really help you in getting a bird's eye view of your portfolio. So thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you again.